Welcome to The Shooting Show, brought to you this week from Future Publishing's Field Sports HQ at Leamington Spa. This week we're Roebuck stalking with Stuart Wilson and Callum from the 3rd Battalion, the Parachute Regiment. Shooting Show's partnership with the Paras continues. Stuart Wilson prepares to debunk from the vehicle with his client for the next few days. Callum from the 3rd Battalion, the Parachute Regiment. Boy Blunder Wilson might have started by clapping his rifle on the vehicle, but is soon up to speed. A kit check ensures all that's needed is pouched and ready. And we're off. Hastily into the seat, the stalking duo quickly settle in, as does the local wildlife. This high seat looks over a quiet corner that a good buck frequents. An industrious hedgehog forages the woodland floor, creating a diversion as Callum glasses the area. A couple of squirrels join the party, lacking around a tree trunk. That makes just about every species of fauna we can think of, except deer. The air gun shows Matt Manning would have had a field day in this seat with his PCP, but there's been little to do for our Browning Expo in 243. With no deer putting in an appearance, the guys retire to the pub for tea. A lamb's set for an early rise into another seat the following morning. Once there, they are quickly joined by a doe who seems unperturbed by their presence. No more than 40 yards away, she confirms that at least the wind direction is favourable. Callum enjoys the spectacle. He has never been so close to a roe deer, and Ero does confirm she must have a kid hidden somewhere fairly close.
The Dur has now retired to lie in cover, ever watchful as the Wren belts out its chorus. There's no better way to spend a morning, sat watching the local fauna go about its business. But the early rises and late evening storks can take their toll. Callum catches a few minutes of kip and who can blame him? Movement in the far corner brings some excitement. No book yet, but a wonderful sight of a dur with a sprightly kid at foot. This rounds the morning off nicely. Drawing a blank yet again, the guys head off for breakfast. Later we head to another box seat. Loaded and ready, the so far undeadly duo wait out another sweltering evening. At the far end of the game strip running to the right, the first deer shows and is quickly identified as a doe. The wait continues. A big fan of the Swarovski binos, Callum puts them to good use and spots more movement on a rape wheat field margin. It's a book. With whispered guidance from Stuart, Callum prepares to take a shot if one presents itself. Tension mounts. This book could ghost away into the rape at any moment. The shot looked good, but with high cover it's impossible to see if the book is down clean. After the customary wait, the guys head out of the box seat and over to the point of the shot. 
Um, we've just sort of been on our third session, sat really patiently, uh, sort of hot summer days, um, classic sort of road book stalking, um, and a really nice book showing up on the edge of some of the rape over there. Peeped out onto the rape, and Callum's putting down one shot. Um, really nice shot, so I think he's a bit excited to sort of get in there and see see what he's, uh, what he's bagged. So we'll make our way over and see what we've got. Congratulations. Excellent. Cracking book, Cheers. three good stalks. Uh, unlucky on the second stalk with that book that uh, just sort of got onto the wind of us, but yeah. a bit of patience there and watching that doe quite nicely. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then Milado appeared. And for your first sort of roebuck at 156 yards, cracking. That's brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> I have, yeah. Seeing all the deer. Um, we've been watching all sorts of does. Um, and then there was that little doe with a with tiny fawn as well, so, or a kid rather. Um, so, yeah, it's, yeah been, uh, it's been good. An eventful morning, you've enjoyed it. Really and what do you think to stalking so far? Yeah, it's good. It's got to be patient. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I think some people sort of get to these boxes and think it's all going to happen within half an hour. Yeah. We've been what sat for, I don't know, thick end of about two and a half hours already. Yeah, um, and that, to be fair, is a fairly sort of short stint. But, well, you know, well. there's your reward, your first book. <laughs> and one of the reasons we're after him, you can see where he's been, you know, sort of fraying, even if it is just the, the rape there. Um, this little boy will be sort of questing around probably a, a much bigger book um, and he's playing havoc with the farmer's trees who's, who's going bananas so hopefully a perfect shot placement Callum perfect absolutely perfect I would imagine once we get this back to the larder we'll see uh, just how clean he is I don't think he's perfectly there in the in the <laughs> <laughs> well done mate cheers <laughs> Stuart and Callum eventually securing success there. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The grouse season is here, and already the shooting industry has a fight on its hands against the antis. Chris Packham has publicised an anti-shooting campaign that asks high-profile companies to distance themselves from grouse shooting. But high street names such as Waitrose and Next say they have nothing to do with the campaign and asked for their logos to be taken off its website. Basque's Peter Glenzer said this amounted to a demonstrably gross misinterpretation of the truth. As for the shooting itself, prospects are mixed for the coming season. Most English moors have a decent stock and saw positive spring counts. Wet weather has taken its toll, but moors are still reporting good counts. In Scotland, the outlook is less rosy, and there have been some cancelled days in the Highlands. But the Lammermuirs in the southeast have done far better. The mixed gender team event controversially set to replace double trap in the Olympics will take place at the ISSF World Cup final this year. Mixed teams trap, along with mixed teams air rifle and pistol, will be staged at the final in New Delhi, taking another step towards full inclusion in the Olympic schedule. Qualification takes place just like all the other final events, with the best countries from the World Cup stages this year getting a place. That's likely to mean India, China and Russia, but no Great Britain. And finally... Get your last minute entry in for the Clay Shooting Classic DTL at Bywell Shooting Ground. Taking place across the bank holiday weekend, the DTL has a massive pot of cash prizes as well as the chance to win a Parazzi shotgun. Last year, Kath Bright defied the odds to win a super shoot-off ahead of the likes of Paul Chaplow, and anything's possible once again this year. Head to the Bywell website for all the details. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.